mama didn't tell me who my dad was at first. I just like found out through people telling me like, and man, once I heard that, I was like, man, I'm finna rap. So how'd y'all get the call to uh, to be on the rap game? So let me tell you, I seen the commercial. It was big because it was the first thing with kids as rappers. Right, right. I'm like, that's me. So mom's quit her job. She went from dentist to manager. Are you still hooping when the rap game is going on? Everybody think I just started hooping and rapping out of nowhere. I've been doing this my whole life. You know, my first awful life. Hey, this Coach Yo at Ole Miss. We offer you a full scholarship. Damn, like, mm -hmm. it didn't register because I'm like, bro, like, what girls do in college? They don't hoop for real. What made you select LSU? Coaches. They always ask me, like, what you, what you want to do most, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? What you love right, the most? Right, because they want you all in. Right. But the different with Coach Moki was, she's like, I ain't playing you in no box. Like, on my visit there, she took me to the studio. That's hard. You, That's you, lit. You can sign me up right now. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> you were a freshman. The upperclassmen was like, man, hey, man. Yeah. First practice, I'm like, man, none of y'all can't guard me. Let's go line it up. I'm a McDonald's All American. Mm. I played the Jordan Brand Classic. I won MVP Slam Classic. I won MVP Jordan Ooh. Brand Classic. Yeah, yeah, literally. Ooh. I came into college with a shoe deal before I touched the floor. Like, that's unheard of. And you were champion. How did you feel about both teams being invited to the White House? You know, winners go to the White House, losers go home. Welcome to the Baller Show podcast, available everywhere you get your podcast. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share our YouTube page at Baller Alert TV. I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons. You know BT. OCT, where that? Oh, man, the superstar is yeah. in the We do snaps. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. Flaje. I like that thing. What's up, dog? What's going on? You can't man. Man. Iced out. I see. I, I can't remember the last time I watched of the uh the women's uh national uh uh NCAA championship game more and was locked in than your game. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. That was my first uh women's basketball game that I've ever watched. It was a good one too. Yeah, it was it was a hell of a game. It was a good one. More so because I know you. Yeah. <laughs> and I've known you since I correct the age, 16? Yeah. You came to the radio station. Jermaine Dupree brought you to the radio station that I previously worked well, at, well, right? Well, actually, that probably was when I was younger then. So you were you young? Was she younger than fifteen? Yeah, when I was with Jermaine Dupree, I was like thirteen. So you were thirteen. Oh, wow. Yeah. You were up at the radio station. You were definitely not this tall. No, nah, no, not at all. And <laughs> you were on the rap game. Oh, yeah. Now, sure. which season were, were were you on? I was on season three. So which uh, what were the names that were on season three? Uh, it was me, Nova, Dijonata, oh, yeah, Nova. Roscoe. Yeah. Okay, Roscoe. Tally. Tally. I didn't even know you played basketball. Yeah, yeah. A until, lot of people didn't. Until I saw, uh, was it AAU or what was it? It was AAU. It was like clips on your Instagram and I was like, oh wow, she hoop. Yeah. And then you went to LSU. Can we take it back to the rap game first though? Yeah, let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back. Where are you from? I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, but I moved Georgia. to Atlanta around like fifth fifth grade. Yeah. Fifth grade. So I could like, you know, start my rap career and my basketball. Now, of course, your dad is a very well-known rapper, uh, one of the biggest rappers in the beginning ages of Southern rap, yeah, Camouflage. For sure. Um, R.I.P. to Camouflage. You were yeah. are his only kid? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, and you weren't born yet when he passed away, correct? No. Nah, nah. And um, so how was it like for you? It, that's how it all started, like, in the city. Like, my mama didn't tell me who my dad was at first. I just, like found out through people telling me, like, you feel me, like, that he was a rapper, you know what I'm saying? But a legendary rapper. Yeah, legendary rapper. See, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, until, like, I'm walking around, I'm getting, like, a little special treatment. They're like, oh, you Fly's daughter. I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? And <laughs> I went to go listen, and I did my research, and I'm like, hey, he was hard, though, you like, hard. you know what I'm saying? He wasn't, like, regular. And, man, once I heard that, I was like, man, I'm finna rap. It was just, it was so that's like the, that. Is that the Flage, the ending of his yeah, name? Yeah, Camouflage, Flage, yeah. Mm. It's in that. there. So I, I just heard that and I was inspired to the match. I just got chill bumps. Like, you know what I'm saying? How old are you at this time when you're learning who your dad is? Seven. Seven. Okay. Like six, seven. And then one day me and my uncle, we was on the floor putting CDs in the, in, in the um, DVD thing. And it played an played instrumental and I just started rapping over it. Like, the rap saying made no sense, but I was like, I like this beat. And my uncle wrote me a song. It was over with. How did mom get involved? Because was, was she hesitant at first or was yeah. she... Nah, my mom she was all, like, always was all in. She was like, no, you're not rapping. You know what I'm saying? She was like, no, go read a book. Go to school. <laughs> act regular. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, no, I want to rap. Like, I'm a rapper. Like, I got to rap. You feel mm -hmm. me? So 
I was like, I was like, yeah. And I kind of, me and my uncle, we convinced her because he like wrote me a song and I rapped it to her on the bed. I was sitting on the, standing on the bed rapping. I was like, yeah. She laughing in the background. This, yeah, is pretty, this sounds pretty Afri- yeah, accurate. Yeah, accurate. I was rapping on the bed. She recorded it, man. I was like, man, this my song. You know what I'm saying? I, I went to the studio, made a little EP, and I put it out. And then I performed at my dad's birthday party. She do every year for him. And like, my aunties and uncles and they so you know they was turning me up hyping me up but I was rocking the stage like for real and they was like but she got something so my mama posted on YouTube the clip went a little viral like in the city back then probably like 10,000 views like that was a lot of views back you know in Savannah saying? yeah yeah that yeah. was probably the whole population right 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 <laughs> there you go at that point <laughs> low key so shady but um you know how y'all letting folks do but no nah, it was like um it was like, I'm lit. So they was like, do she do birthday parties and stuff like that? And my mom was like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you were performing for people's birthdays? Yeah. So she went from not wanting me to rap to being like, yeah, we take bookings. You feel me? So, so she became mama, the, mama she, so she became, yeah, yeah. She became <laughs> momager. She became momager in an instant. And ever since then, she quit a job. Like when we moved to Atlanta to go on a rap game, she quit her job. Wow. So moms quit her job yeah. to... To become to for you to come on the rap game full time like because we was in a rap game like people don't know we was in a rap game house for three months straight like we just had to move there you feel me so like what she gonna tell her job like you know what I'm saying like she had to leave so she became full on mama she went from dentist to manager oh that's wow yeah was a lot of people's parents there a lot of kids parents not so the only person like parent was there was Roscoe I think mm-hmm. um, if I'm not mistaken everybody else came with their sister their uncle and stuff like that okay. but my mama like my, my mama plan. yeah and King Roscoe shout out to mama DJ they they risk it all and they, they, mama, still, you know, mama still be texting me uh, mama Roscoe yeah they still hustling I love mama mm-hmm. DJ but yeah and they was the only two yeah. so how'd y'all get the call to, uh, to be on the rap game so let me tell you, I seen the commercial, the first one, when the first one came with like Lotto, Super Peach, Lil Nico. I was like, oh my God, mama, I want to be on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was like, it was big because it was the first thing with kids as rappers. Right, and right. I'm like, that's me. Like, you feel me? Like, right. I want to be on that. <laughs> so the second season, my mama hit him up. They was like, nah, she don't I fit. Think, I think Street Bud won that one. No, he was, he, he was on the one after me. Okay, after yeah. you. Okay. So the second one, it was like she don't really fit the storyline because they had like big cities. So it was like Brooklyn, Chicago, okay. you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I'm from Savannah. They was like, that ain't going to work. Okay. I'm like, all right, cool. Third season, they had me in consideration. So I'm doing these Zooms and stuff. And then it kind of was like, nah, you ain't make it. But you were alternate though. So like something happened and somebody dropped out and you could come. It happened. Like somebody dropped out. And we did an interview. They was like, we love you. Get on, Welcome to the show. And it happened like that. And at that time, I was like, man, forget y'all. Y'all ain't want me on the show anyway. My mom was like, no, do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Best thing she ever said. So, you know, I make it on the show. And like, that was like, that rest was like history. How did your world turn around? Oh, man. Like, I don't think people understand the magnitude of like that show. Like, Mm -hmm. we were like, every Friday, you watch the rap game. Like, Mm -hmm. In, 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 the, in the black household Like that's what it was mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying Like it got to a point One time I remember When our ratings were so high That the golf The masters was on And then we passed the masters Like wow. you know what I'm saying In viewership So it was that big And like That right there Just stamped my face You know what I'm saying In the culture You know what I'm saying In the kids In the parents And everything I still to this day I don't even look the same You a from the rap game You feel me So like It was just such a big platform And I want to shout out JD for that Because he really put kids In a position To be able to be like Notice on you a still large scale. You still talk to him? Um, yeah, I just hit him. I was like, JD, we gotta do something like for the culture. And man, it, it was so big for me, just being a kid, cause it was no way I was gonna get my music out there, cause don't nobody wanna really listen to twelve year old rap. Like my voice was screechy, screechy, and like, you know, I wasn't really talking about nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it was just a good way to put my face out there for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I seen JD was talking about that, um, about how you know he feel like that kids don't get the recognition that they used to back in yeah. the day. It was different for me because we was getting a little bag. Because, like, after I, <laughs> after I went on the TV show, like, they were throwing that bag. Like, kids' shows was a big market. Mm. It ain't as a big, big market as you are going to be when you, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's still mm-hmm. a big market because it's, like, a whole bunch of little kids. And when they come to the show, they got to bring their parents. So that's an extra ticket. So were you getting booked to, like, perform <laughs> across the country, like, for birthday parties yeah, and yeah. stuff like that? Birthday parties, little kids' shows. They used to put on at little theaters, like, you know what I'm saying? And they actually did a rap game tour. But they left me off. I was so mad, bro. They got me on a tour. But it was a dope tour because they was doing amphitheaters and you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was a big market and people was really coming to see it. It was dope. So you're 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 this big superstar from the rap game. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, 
I just start seeing you on my timeline hooping though. Like yeah. I'm talking about like hooping. Like yeah. I'm over here like you crossing folks over late with the lay lay. I'm over here like yo, why didn't I never see this? Like, are you still hooping when the rap game is going on? Or are you just everybody think I just started hooping and rapping out of nowhere? I've been doing this my whole life. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I've been hooping before I've been rapping for real, for real. Okay. Like with the boys at the boys club. So I've been doing it my whole life, but I never put it on camera. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, yeah. nobody knew. And then I was hooping at LA Fitness. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm playing against dudes every day. Like, I'm going to the gym every day. I'm playing against grown men. Like, going at it. You know what I'm saying? So when it was time for me to go play with the girls on AAU, I'm running through them. But the, <laughs> yo, for real. But the teams that I was on, they was like, they weren't no high C teams or they weren't mm-hmm. no big EYBL teams. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't get no recognition until like my, my, my junior year. You feel me? And that's the last year you could play. So, in high school? Yeah, in high school. Okay. For AAU, because the next year you were senior, you done. Oh, gotcha. Right, so my sophomore year, I was playing on Bounce Nation, right? Mm-hmm. With Jay. My, my Uncle Mo got in contact with Street Exec, so he was like, yeah, bro, fly, like, you could play in college. And I'm right now, I'm getting a little bit of rapper money. I'm like, bro, I'm rapping. I'm finna get a deal. I'm finna go to LA. I'm not worried about college right now. He was like, if I get you on the phone with this coach and she tell you she offer you a scholarship, what you would do? I was like, get me on the phone. You know, my first offer, like, uh, talk to Coach Yo from Ole Miss. She like, hey, this Coach Yo at Ole Miss, we offer you a full scholarship. I was like, damn, like, mm-hmm. this real, like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, college, like, I didn't, it didn't register because I'm like, bro, like, what girls do in college? They don't hoop for real, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. like, just like half the rest of the country, like, I ain't watched women basketball for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so I was like, bro, girls ain't talking about, like, I only knew boys go to the go to college and go to the league and get that bread. I ain't mm-hmm. hear no girls doing this. I'm like, did my research. Dang, like, I could play in college. Like, you know what I'm saying? This could be something. Like, I never knew I could play on this stage. Like, yeah. Next thing you know, my offers start racking up, racking up, racking up. I got every offer in the country, like, except for UConn in South Carolina. Like, I well, had, she remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they come to South Carolina with them dogs. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had every, I, I did not get the offer from South Carolina or UConn, though. Like, and them the two ones right there. Yeah, she called me, and then she, like, she was like, so, and she was like, um, What's up? I, look, I like your game, whatever, but I ain't gonna offer you yet. And I was like, what? what? And this the time like, I got a big head because I'm getting What's every the offer from in America. L- from uh, South Carolina name? Uh, Don. Don, Don, Don. Yeah, she you didn't hang up the phone? No, no, no. I ain't hang up. Nah, <laughs> nah Coach Don, legendary. Yeah, I was she like, like, she like, like, she like, like, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, I'm like, oh, all right, bet. Scratch that off the list. So I was like, because in this moment, I'm like, I'm getting every offer I want. You feel me? Like, But I still ain't know where I was going to go to college. And next summer, I'm a Met Don All American. Mm. I played the Jordan Brand Classic. I won MVP Slam Classic. I won MVP. And these the top girls there. And I'm ranked 55. Like, you feel me? So I had a little chip on my shoulder. Like, I'm coming here. And, like, it's like they bringing, on, bringing me here because they know me and they know my name, Fly J from the rap game. But they really want to see, like, what she talking about? But see, I'm coming here and ball. I'm murking them folks. You got number one player here. I don't want her on my team. Put on the other team. You feel me? MVP, snatch that, Emmy that. Jordan Brand Classic. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. The number one player on that team. Oh, yeah. I don't even want to play with you. Let's go. Scratch that, give me that MVP. You feel me? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, talk that. So. She talking to talk. I had to let them know, like, I'm not to be played with. You know what I'm saying? And that was just building that foundation and that rep mm-hmm. as a basketball player because I ain't have none. Mm, mm-hmm. right. But they've been playing on the circuit since seventh grade. they getting yeah. scouted and you said seventh grade. I'm rapping. I ain't, I ain't hooping. So I had to get it out the mud. And, they, and then I became like the number six guard in the country. What made what, what made you select LSU? Man, I seen Coach Mogi on TV acting crazy. like With her little outfits on? With her little outfit on. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't popping it back then, how she popping okay. it now. Yeah. But she still had her orange bright blazer. And she was cussing out the ref like, man, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I need to play for her. And then I already knew her resume. So I told my coach. Because she won uh, where before? Baylor. Baylor. Like 12 okay. chips in a row. Like, okay. you know, in her conference. Like, who does that? So... She had three national championships, Hall of Fame coach. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to play for her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I need. But at that time, she was at Baylor moving to LSU. And I was mm. like, this is perfect. Like, nobody over there. I can help build something. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. I was the first person to come over there. They, that was the first McDonald's All-American. You feel me? So I was like, bro, I could build something with her. And then, like, coaches, they didn't really want to take a chance on me in basketball. Like, they always ask me, like, what you, what you want to do most, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? What you love right, most? Right, because they want you all in. Right. As soon as they say that, scratch you off the list. You a done deal. You know what I'm saying? But the different Coach Moki was. She was like, I ain't playing you in no box. Like, on my visit there, she took me to the studio. You feel me? Like, wow. Yeah, That's fire. Like, she took me to the studio. She said, this is where you going to record at. I'm like, 
That's hard. You, That's you, lit. You, you can sign me up right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because right, right, this lady with three championships telling me this, and you ain't, you ain't got no championship. You telling me the truth. I can't eat because you know she see what she see. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? She said, in the season, you mine. Off season, go do what you want. Go be the biggest rap star. You know what I'm saying? And I respected it. She That's respected lit. It and we worked good. Quick question. So now you were a freshman, right? Correct me if I'm yeah. wrong. I know it was kind of the upperclassmen was like, man, hey, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She ain't finna come over here and take my spot. Yeah. She a rapper. They give yeah, she yeah, a yeah. rapper. Did they give you a hard Did time? Did they give you a hard time? They ain't give me a hard time. They just gave me a little side eye. Because they knew how I was going to come in. They was like, bro, she going to come in acting bougie. You coming like, in with that energy, though. Yeah, but nah, I'm like, bro, I'm kicking it. Like, I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Like, you feel me? Hey. Like, I'm from the city. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I came in there, but I came in there like, yeah, to, you know, this, this me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Met Don All American. I'm coming here. This, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And that was, this was also Angel Reese's uh, first year, first too, because she, she transferred, transferred from Maryland. Right yeah. So, in my head, but you, this how you got to think, though. In my head, I'm like, man, I'm a freshman, bro. Like, this is going to be hard. And Angel is a junior or something? Junior. junior. She a junior. Yeah. I'm like, then it's going to be hard. How I'm going to how I'm gonna start? How I'm going to take over the team? This is my head. Like, but out there, I'm telling them, yeah, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Popping like that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But in the inside, I'm like, ooh, you know, <laughs> I got some dogs in here. You feel me? Yeah, that was good. That was yeah. good. So, you know, it was like a respect thing, but mm-hmm. I came in there and I was talking crazy. Like, first practice, I'm like, man, none of y'all can't guard me. Let's go line it up. Like, you feel me? That's where my head was at. And I was popping it. Like, I was crossing them up, talking crazy. It got to a point where, like, they didn't want to play with me. Like, your own teammates? Talk- yeah, because I was talking too crazy. <laughs> like, I was ball hogging. But I'm like, bro, like, but this is where my mindset was at. Let me tell you why. Man, I, I work too hard. Like, I'm up 5 a.m. I got another training at 10. I got another training at 1. I got another training at, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing four days. I'm shooting a thousand shots a day. Mm-hmm. You ain't finna tell me I'm not finna shoot the ball. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like my percentage gonna be better because I shoot more shots than you. That's where my head was at. Like, mm-hmm. Kobe had filled up my head. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> for real. Like, but I'm putting in the work and I don't see none of y'all in the gym with me. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I love that. And I had to learn, you know. Angel had to tell me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Fly J, like, you could talk to me like that, and I respect it because I'm cut from that cloth. Right. But some people not cut from that same cloth, so they're not going to take it the way I'm going to take it. Mm-hmm. So I had to learn how to get my message through. I never changed my message. I just had to find another way to deliver it. Mm-hmm. And once I did that, we had a little come to Jesus man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I told him, like, bro, if y'all got a problem, like, tell me. Like, I'm going to pop it, but I'm going to listen, too. Like, I want to learn from y'all. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because these dogs, don't get me wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like. You know, I was like, just talk to me, tell me. And then that's when we kind of like came together and they realized like, nah, she 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 cool. You know what I'm saying? She a listen. You know what I'm saying? But they knew I was a hothead like, coming in. Like, mm. I'm trying to take a spot too. You feel me? Like somebody, somebody's spot getting taken. Yeah. But it really wasn't no spots to take. It was just like your spot was up for grabs because it was a new team. Oh. You feel me? Because she just had came. The, the team she had before, she inherited those players. This is the team she recruited. You feel me? So, so really, it's the first year. Way. Yeah, right. so really, just the first year that mm-hmm. she put a team, she assembled the team. You feel mm-hmm. me? So a spot was up for grabs. She don't know none of us except for uh, the point guard, Alexis. Oh, Moore. so no wonder why you had to go in there and talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we doing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like that was my the way that I approached it. You know what I'm saying? So, but everything worked out perfectly. Like, we at the end, we were sisters and we won a chip. So. Speaking of winning and losing, how did you feel about both teams being offered to go to the White House? I I was like, bro, like, I had one question, one question only. If we lost, would we have been invited as well? Mm-hmm. And if the answer was yes, then okay. But if the answer was no, then think about it. You know what I'm saying? So that was really it. I think that, you know, winners go to the White House, losers go home. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Did the school make y'all go? Because everybody, I feel like, was real rebellious. <laughs> and then y'all just jumped the gun, put out a statement, we ain't going. Yeah. And then it's like... Wait, come back. Hey, yo, we going. Like, yeah. the school's like, nah, they going. Nah, so, so you know, Angel did the interview, and she was like, nah, we ain't going. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I, I guess we ain't going. But then, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, Angel. Was, cool. Then my dog, like, I, I got to be I got to roll my dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, she 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 was like, you know, she she um was a real leader about it and was like, I acted out of emotion. Mm-hmm. I spoke out of emotion, and I won't take this opportunity for people who actually want to go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So she did what a captain supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. How was it when y'all went to the yeah. White House? What was your experience? 
Uh, it was cool. Like, y'all gonna you know, be going back? Y'all gonna go oh, back? Oh, we going back for sure. Did you get but, like a tour? No, nah, we ain't get a tour. Like oh. we ain't get no tour. Like y'all just had y'all like just that, went that from moment the bus to a room and to the moment and that was yeah, it. We ain't get no food or nothing. I seen the Kansas City Chiefs win. Y'all didn't get no they food. They feed y'all. <laughs> we got hey. some hors d'oeuvres. You know what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> at least Trump had got them McDonald's that one time. <laughs> No, nah, but we was there I for like get a happy meal. We was only there for like an hour and a half, two though. So they they did us a ceremony. They could have entertained but, y'all. Yeah, but no, they had like what? No, but like don't get me wrong. Like this the White House. Man, tell us what's really happened. I had on a crazy outfit. <laughs> I had stars all in my in my pants suit, looking crazy. <laughs> but not um, no, they had us in the Secret Service. We had to go through two two checkpoints. You know what I'm saying? Oh really? They had the band playing and all of that. Like it was real presidential. Don't get me wrong, but like. You know, I would like to tour or something like that, but it was cool though, like just to okay. be. How was the uh, president and the first lady? Oh man, it was so cool. <laughs> they was chopping it up with us. That's Biden hard. was like, he want he want to play one v one. Like, bro, you don't want to do that. <laughs> but um, no, it was it was vibes. It was vibes. Right. Wait, Biden, Biden said he wanted to play you one on one. Oh no no no. The man gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> I thought that's what you said he asked. No, 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 no. You said he wanted to play. Yeah, he wanted to play like, you know what I'm saying, pick up or whatever. But A pickup game? Yeah. No, I don't yeah, think no. he need to be playing any pickup games. He need to learn how to Boy, that man can't even walk to the guy man. down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it was cool. And we got to talk to the vice president as well. Oh, okay. He had some real encouraging words for I'm us. Alive. You know what I'm saying? Coming from a black woman in the White House, like that's a big deal, so... It, yeah. it, it, it was a good experience just to see levels. Like, it's levels. Like, I'm yes. a young, small girl from Savannah, and I'm in the White House, so. Right, right, right. It's different. You know what I'm saying? So, and, 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 and I'm here for a good reason. Like, I'm here for a reason. Like, Wait, where does winning. basketball come from? Oh. I just well, they have something know. Ferrari. We yeah. can actually introduce oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Autograph Puma ball. Hey, 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 now. Man, don't Appreciate it. that. And then we got, make sure y'all go get your merch. Jersey's <laughs> out right now for sale, but. Got the big sign hey, hey, Ooh, hey, hey, nice. hey. Get some snaps, get some snaps yeah, for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big four jersey, man. He been asking for a minute, though. Hey, yeah, fact. He been asking for a minute. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, Slick, outside of your mom, I'm like one of your biggest fans just because I saw That's you. Dope. Now, since I, I thought it was 15, but you said 13. Yeah. I literally seen you when you was like a little kid. Yeah. And now you're fucking taller than me. <laughs> it's crazy. Dang, bro, you old. a big fur, uh, sports fanatic. Yeah, I love, yeah. I love the He's sports He's well athletes. deserving of that. And I want you to go to the WNBA because I want to go to the game. <laughs> You know, I, think, I think she will. I'm gonna sit next to Mama Kia. Yeah. Me and Mama will sit next to each other, drink, you know what I'm saying, and turn up. And, and we and like John Morant Dad, I'm gonna be like John Morant Dad. Oh, yeah, on yeah. The, oh my God. Oh, Lord, he, if it's a foul, I'm coming on the court, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> court side. Or, do you want to go to the WNBA? As a competitor in basketball, who you want to play the best? Yeah, I, the I would best. love to buy your jersey from the. You know from, what I'm saying? Like, you want you, team. That's an honor. I feel like that's only natural. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, you want to be. But what but if you get this business woman that I am? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm saying as a business. Watch yourself, don't answer this. Answer this no, correctly no. now. Oh, I'm gonna answer how I'm gonna answer. But okay. as a business woman, like it's like, bro, it gotta make sense. Like okay. you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm making how much money I'm making in college, and I gotta go to the league and take a pay cut, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, how does that really like you know what I'm saying? How that what that do for me? Like I'm out here risking my you know my safety and. I could, you know, in, injuries, anything, mm-hmm. and I'm taking a pay cut for what I'm doing. You and feel And you're me? doing music. And I'm doing music. But I love what I do so much mm-hmm. that I'd probably take it. Because I've always been my dream to play in the WNBA, to play against the best of the best. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? So I want I want to be in a position to help the WNBA grow. Yeah. And not be bigger than that. You know I what I'm saying? I think as much as LSU's yes. going viral, it's definitely yeah. shining a light, you know, to help people you know, get better deals. Man, man. Especially women. Man, yeah, women, women's basketball is in a new light and it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's about the, the people. It ain't about like, bro, I know folks out here that's killing, scoring 30 a game, all American, no deals. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's just about building that brand. You know what I'm saying? Like we have superstars now in, the, in, in basketball. Yeah, it's you, dope. You had me and BT watching the the championship game. I'm saying like, it's yeah, like, and I never watched women's basketball. So saying, I was like, wow. You got like, you got like, Kaylin Clark, like, she's like a generational type of player. Man, she got Me a personally haven't seen nothing like it from a female. You know what I mean? Like, just and, and it's just like 
And for women's basketball, you got to be in that situation. She had a perfect situation where a coach, like, yeah, you got the green light. You know Shoot what I'm saying? Build a team around you, do what you want to do. You know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. So that's good for the game. You know what I'm saying? Creating superstars. You got men arguing over the game, men doing this over the game. So it's just yeah. growing the game. And you're being a part of that change in real time. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Man, it feel like, it's like, damn, like, I got to make sure that I, I'm doing everything in a way where it's like, Strategize You know what I'm saying Cause it's like Right now we're creating A blueprint Anything that I do Is something that Somebody else is gonna follow Or, or something else That can make this go big yeah. So you know what I'm saying Just like strategizing And trying to Make the best of the situation Cause it's hotter than Greece right now Now with y'all Um with y'all basketball, it was, I feel like, man, that was like more controversy than like basketball going on now yeah. because, you know, with, um, they didn't like y'all talking that shit. What was the girl, shit. Caitlin? Uh, what Caitlin was, Clark. Caitlin, yeah, Caitlin, Caitlin Clark. Clark did it. I yeah. feel like, then I feel like Angel she Reese did it. It's a yeah, problem. Yeah, like, it, it, it was a big deal. Man, it's not a, but y'all got, it wasn't a problem for hoopers, right. per se. It's a problem for other people. Maybe that's, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like us in the media, we made it, yeah, well, like, not it was, like, not yeah, it was just like the media, like, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, bro, it was a double standard type of thing. Right. You know right. what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, you know how that go. A, a, a young black girl do it, it's going to be amplified more. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to have a negative connotation on it. But you got to realize, like, them two are hoopers. Right. Mm -hmm. Kayla Clark is a hooper. Mm -hmm. Yo, she can hoop. Me? And she's a competitor. Damn. And Angel is a hooper. She's a competitor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so, off of me, it was like, now this is just building the game. Like, but you can't crack down on just one person when both right. people are doing it. Doing it fast. Because my teammate that's coming, Haley Van Liff, she going to pop that. it too. Wait, was it, was, so, was, was Haley, <laughs> didn't Haley play with Caitlyn? No. Where did Caitlin Haley play did at? did it to Haley. Oh, you so where, where did Haley play at? Louisville. So, you got y'all grabbed her. Did you... How did y'all get her? She wanted to come with the sauce. She wanted to come with the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. You know what I'm saying? You Woo! know, people, we at LSU, like, we just created something people want to be hoop. a part of. But yeah. Like, mm -hmm. they want to be a part of and they want to be able to express themselves. They Like, every time a recruit see me, they be like, I love how coaches let y'all do y'all thing. And you know what I'm saying? They're like, how is she? I'm like, bro, she, she, dis like, she we disciplined, don't get us wrong, but she let us be ourselves. And you don't see that in women's game. It's real. You gonna, it's my way on the highway. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. with Coach Mocha, she know we young women. We outspoken. You know what I'm saying? But she met, she let it be known that she the biggest alpha dog. You know what I'm saying? When she on the court. And so, you know, we respect her because she got that, that resume. So she she just so, she let us be us, man. That's what I say. She brought me to the studio. I knew what type of person she was. You like, yep, I'm on the way. Yeah, and she let, she let Angel be Angel. She let Flage be Flage. You know what I'm saying? So that's why people want to be a part of that. Like, so what, um, going back to the music side, what label would you like to sign to if you could pick? Mm, really, just like a label that understand, like a label that's not going to limit me. Like I look at labels like official visits, like, you know what I'm saying? Going to basketball, like going to schools. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know. Nah, you don't get it. Mm, you don't get it. Because they need to accept you as an athlete, athlete as well. And mm -hmm. a rapper. As, right. You know, some people don't want to take that, take that bargain, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know the right one will because I think a lot of labels now they accept because we have some artists that act mm -hmm. too. So you you got an acting schedule and you got the right. The, um, so the just music. a person who understands, just like school, just like school. Okay. Now it, it, it was a music video being shot. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I seen I seen one of your partners in the video. Were yeah. you in the video? No, I wasn't in the video. How come? How come you wasn't in the video? I'm talking about the Lotto song. I'm talking about the Lotto. Oh, clip. Oh, not clipbait. Put it on the floor. I did a remix called Clipbait. Um. How come, how come Angel Reese was in there, but you weren't in there? Are um, you and Lotto cool? Um, I thought we was. Like, I mean, Angel, like, she loves, like, being in videos. Like, got it, got it. She the cute girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's her thing, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I was like. Um, I've been seeing y'all together yeah. a lot. Yeah, y'all been so, together a lot. So, yeah, Lotto, she hit me about it, like, the day before. Okay, so she did hit you. Yeah, she hit me. She was like, I want you to be in the video, you feel me? What we about to do? And I'm like, I'm, I'm in LA right now, but I'm like, bro, yeah, I can make it happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Hit my people. But um, I was like, so when it came out, I was like, I was like, I, we, we didn't make it happen. But okay. like her okay. people never hit my people or whatever. And but I had seen like she had asked Angel before, like a week before, you feel me? Okay. And I was like, I was like, I was like, okay. Maybe she really ain't want me in the video for real, but she had to ask me because like we had kind of a relationship before and she put Angel in, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really care because Angel was in it. You know what I'm saying? And okay. that was a big moment for women's basketball. But at the same time, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Why, why wouldn't you put me in it? Like it just makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I did the remix. You know what I'm saying? It went viral. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rapper. I go to LSU. 
you know what I'm saying? We got rap game history, you know what I'm saying? So that that situation, I feel like it was a little weird, but Do you think maybe just, y'all should have a maybe you should talk to her about it maybe? Or um, you just you ain't worried about it? No, nah, I ain't tripping off it because like it, it shed light on like women's basketball. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that really just bridged a gap in the culture. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like it made women's basketball and LSU basketball go to another level. But I feel like they ain't like, you know what I'm saying? If we was, you know what I'm saying? It should have okay. been like that, but now have y'all have y'all talked in um before the video came out? Yeah, like like you know what I'm saying here and there, like she t- like I did the remix to her song. She was like, right. this fire, like, you know what oh, I'm saying? Gotcha. Oh, so y'all do communicate. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, here and there, like DM. So um yeah, she hit me, she told me like it was fire, you know what I'm saying? I wish it could have happened, but it didn't, but Okay. Y'all gotta do a song together. Yeah, I think that's y'all how y'all make up for that. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, you, you just make you just make up by by y'all doing the record together. Yeah, hopefully. I've been seeing the Street is X chain. Yeah, you ain't wearing it today. Yeah, yeah. Are you signed to Street is X? No, I'm not signed to Street is X, but um, that's my uncle company. Okay. Uncle Moan, Al Moan, no Al G Al. That's my man. Actually, my necklace. Al, what's up, big dog? Yeah, yeah. Actually, my necklace broke. Okay. Like my chain broke. That's why I ain't wearing it. But. Nah, that's my Cause man Because people he, could speculate that Because I see you wear it all the time Yeah, yeah So I was over here like Oh, she must be yeah, Either yeah, managed yeah, by Street is X Or Nah, he just Signed to Street is X Ever since I was little his family Yes, family Ever since I was little He Anything I needed Like studio time I, I haven't paid for studio time In years Like, you know what I'm saying Like, I know When I come to the city You know what I'm saying So I'm repping it Like, So you're mm-hmm. independent Yeah, for sure My mama, we do everything Looking for a deal or not? Not looking. They coming though. I was you know about to say. I, I know they call it now. Cause your nil <laughs> deal, <laughs> your, NI, your nil deal is a lot. You've already made what over a million? Or hey, Rory, yeah, pocket watching. So much. It's, it's this is public knowledge, it's public. sir. It's, I, I, I it's already on it's ESPN. On if you don't watch it, obviously. It's on Forbes. Um, obviously. <laughs> but nah, um, man, I just got told like my shoe deal that mm. I got was worth more than like, like. Veterans in the WNBA league shoe deal, like you know what I'm saying. Like I got the biggest shoe deal. Like that was crazy Ooh. for me to hear. It was like, but I got that shoe deal coming out of high school. I ain't even step on the college court. You feel me? So like, and what shoes are these? Pumas. I'm, okay. I'm, I got a Puma deal. I'm not okay. sure. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. I got my Louis V's right now, but I'm a Puma athlete. Yeah, so. I thought you was about to hold a Louis V. I said, nah, I don't know. Like, hey, I don't like, don't look like no Pumas nah, now. Nah, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> off season, off season. We in off season. season. Yeah, we in off season. But yeah, no, nah, um, you know that the Puma deal was crazy. Yeah, like, I came in the college with a shoe deal before I touched the floor. Like that's unheard of. So man, just I think they know you're gonna go to the WNBA. Yeah. You know, they see the potential. But what was that the law potential. they passed to let college athletes uh That's own? the the NIL. You can NIL. Um, the NIL. Yeah, so okay. that's how she able to make well, money. She's not even a professional Ooh, athlete yet. Three letters. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's it's I think that's fair though. That's only right. I think it's fair. It is. Because you can get paid off of your image, your likeliness. Hello, Jay, we are so proud of you. Thank we are you. so grateful that you pulled up on mm-hmm. us and uh we can't wait to see you live in action. For sure. Yep. Thank you. Shout, Thank out, you. shout out to mom too, man. Yes. Look at cool. She's she been on the team since the beginning, 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 beginning. Hey, hey. Hey. For sure. I, heard Listen, that. I love that. Yeah, she negotiated the shoe deal. I got an intersection coming in in Savannah, Georgia, in my city. I got the key to my city. I got a day in my city. And it wouldn't happen without us. I love that. I love that, man. That's man, so dope. And I'm just so proud of y'all. Yeah, I want us to come yeah. to, I want to go to an LSU game. No, you, yeah. no, no, no. Let me tell you, like. It's, you got us? Mommy no. got us? Okay. And so it's, it's, not, bad. it's different. She yeah. said it here. Of course I Y'all can't hear it, but, but she said it. It's different in the PMAC. It's 15. Bro, we, our games, bro, this year, sold out. I already like, know. Oh, we, oh, we I already know. know. I already but know but the PMAC rocks. Like, we got, it's hard to win in the PMAC. Because you, it's Louisiana, right? Bruh. Isn't it Louisiana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And they can mm-hmm. drink in there, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all should never <laughs> told me that, mama. I'm no, courtside lit. The one thing Louisiana gonna do is drink. Yeah. They gonna drink and eat. Oh, oh bro, it'd be right. It's hard to win in the PMAC. Like, we went undefeated at home. It's hard to wow. win in the PMAC. Yeah. 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 It's, so, it's so much energy. Y'all you, gotta come. You we gotta We gotta get that together for our, he's our coordinator. Hey, before you go, I really want you to bust a rhyme you got some in, in, in your head prepared or you not prepared for that because mm. if not you gonna have to do a pep talk I'm gonna do a little bit of both how about that here's the pep talk I wanna tell y'all like never give up on your dream you know what I'm saying no is like next opportunity you don't want too many yeses in the beginning cause like you wanna build that foundation Like I tell everybody like you don't wanna jump to the top of the steps like you wanna take every step Every step to get to the top. You want to build a good foundation. So when you fall, you got something to bounce back on. You feel me? Wise words from the biggest fan. Fire. Don't you say a little bit of both now? I'm just going to rap y'all my new song. But go I ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Give us a little 30 seconds. Why you saying we talk? It ain't last a week, but you liking my story. You gassing me. Are you gonna rap or be an athlete? If I'm still doing both, why you asking me? Real rich, when I shop, I need cash receipts. Wake up and ball, get the cash repeat. City on lock, I been had the key. You can't pay for the feature, don't ask the fee. Do it, I run it up, feel like the renegade. I gotta pull my deal, I don't get in the J's. I had to mix up the Sprite with the lemonade. You try me, they come and I send the gang. I'm not an amateur, know me in Canada. I put on drill, bring out the camera, red carpet. I'm lit, man, I'm flammable. I keep eating these rappers on cannibal. God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.